The one thing about Las Vegas, though, as we come out of the pandemic, so much is there are 42 or 43 million other visitors a year. That's what's going to make the Raiders really a successful team. It's going to be the, the other fans coming in to see the Raiders as opposed to a lot of locals going. The locals are going. They, they bought tickets. But um, and the same thing would be true with MLB. There'd be a lot of uh, a lot of people coming from out of town, uh, and, and we don't have that with the Vegas Golden Knights. You know, we don't. We sell out. And we want locals to come, and the Silver Knights is a local organization. I would guess the IFL will be local. It'll be just local fans from Henderson and surrounding environment environs. Um, so I'm not worried about what we're doing, but you could get over. Uh, <laughs> You could get oversported, I think, at some point. But the one thing we're not going to be expensive. This this franchise, this these tickets are going to be inexpensive. They're going to be family oriented. They're going to be great for uh, great for families in Henderson to just walk from right over there, right over there and walk in and go to a game. I, I bet we sell out every game. MLS would be very successful here. I mean, we've been playing with it for a long time, trying to figure it out, trying to trying to understand where arena could be built that would be convenient. And so we've been working on that. We have a number of interested partners uh, that own uh, European soccer teams. They would like to partner with us on MLS team. And there may be, there's, there is one available that uh, we're communicating on. We haven't, we haven't gotten a lot of traction yet, but I think it could, uh, could really work here. I'm, I'm, MLS could be very successful. And I wouldn't be competitive with high, with with baseball. It wouldn't be competitive with with, with with hockey. And then, um, you know, as far you talked about, you know, you and Mark Davis and such, being, you know, in contact about maybe the Aces coming in and playing here as well. Uh, just, you know, talk about that where that's at. I know they have like a one-year lease thing going on at the Mandalay Bay, so that'd just be another, you know, like another set of games to bring for fans here in Henderson. Well, I think it'd be fa I think it'd be fantastic because you really got really got teams that are not competing. Um, for the same times of the season, because the Silver Knights are really kind of done in April, uh, you know, early April every year. And, and the playoffs, of course, are something that does happen. But then the Indoor Football League really starts in March, late March, early April. And the Aces really play in the summer. So you've got non-competing times, so you can give uh, each, each sports team the right days to play on. Obviously, you guys have long had the trademark out on the Desert Knights. Um, possibly tried to do that at all? There's going to be a tie into the Knights, but this is a different one. This has got a little different name. Okay, good. But I like the name. All right, cool.